What's going on everybody? So in previous videos we installed the duckbill wing, painted it with truck bed coating in black and painted the bolt holes different colors. Then we hydro dipped some parts on like the turbo and stuff like that. Painted the engine bay with the different colors for the autism awareness. Today we're going to be installing the air diversion rear diffuser which is this piece right here. Alright so the reason I'm putting that on there is first off I think they look cool. Second I will be taking this car to the track in the future. Um, and I don't want that air pocket behind there dragging me down. I've actually uh, done a lot of research. Now what happens when you're going fast is the air will pocket up underneath the bumper and causing you to slow down. Now it's nothing crazy or anything like that, but the rear diffusers that go underneath the car, they really help with diffusing the air that way. Um, I don't want one of those, I just want one of these. I think they look cool. We're gonna go ahead and truck bed coat that black, but we're gonna take the bumper off and remove the bumper support. So that'll be coming off. Luckily I have the quick releases and I have the little clips right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and then I'll go over the rest. All right, so when I go to put the second coat over the entire car, I'm actually gonna touch all that up as well because it really bugs me that it's not painted. Um, I'll probably end up painting back here whenever we put the bumper back on with this on there so that it's orange. Uh, I actually have some orange spray paint, so we'll probably just paint that part. But uh, we're gonna remove this piece. A custom one will be made eventually. I'm going up higher. Um, so that way I still have some structural support if it gets rear-ended for any reason. Um, but if you're gonna daily your car, but if you're gonna daily your car, it's not wise to remove these um, because it does add some protection whenever you get rear-ended. Most likely if I'm getting rear-ended, it's gonna total the car anyways. So I'm just gonna remove it and then we'll get the custom one made later on. So to remove these super easy, there's two 17 millimeters here, two 17 millimeters here, and then it just slides out. Also, if you didn't notice, I truck bed coated the trunk because I was getting some rust um, from the seals leaking. And uh, now it's not going to, I sanded it all down really well. We'll be removing the sound deadening later, um, but the truck bed coating acts like a sound deadener by itself, so it's really cool. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove that and then we'll mark on the bumper where we need to cut and then we'll get out the saw. So I got the bumper back on as you see. Um, these holes right here, I was just gonna line them up with the trunk crack, but they're not spaced out enough for that. So I'm gonna go closer, probably just like a tape line inside. All right, so that's pretty much perfect. Um, the exact same length, it looks pretty level. So now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill the holes for all of these, and then we will just take and cut out with the sawzall all this stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and uh mark all that that way we have it all marked okay so it looks pretty even it doesn't look too crooked or anything like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and drill the holes so that way the holes are there and then we can mark where we need to cut out the actual hole parts Now that I got it marked, we can go ahead and take this off. Now what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to cut to right here. And right there. And this should be good. I'm basically just going to use the saws off for this since I don't have any Dremel bits. I have a Dremel, I'm just out of the cutting wheels. So I'm just going to basically cut it carefully with the saws off all along here and just cut out this entire section. We're going to leave this center piece here and I'm going to do the same here and cut out that entire section. It's going to have to be very uh, skillfully done so I don't screw it up. 
All right, so I'm gonna actually go paint the rear diffuser before we do the cutout. That way this can be drying um, while this is being cut. So we're gonna go out back and we're gonna do that real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna paint this how I did the lip kit, side skirts, wing, so on and so forth. I have an old Raptor liner bottle with the cap. Um, I filled it up with Rust-Oleum truck bed coating from Walmart. It's really cheap truck bed coating, works really good. So I just filled it in this since I don't have the money to go out and buy black Raptor liner, which I would prefer to do, but this works just as well. We've got the U-Pole gun, which comes with the Raptor liner kit when you buy it. So I'm basically just gonna put this in there. I'll be using this cheap eight gallon compressor from Harbor Freight. Um, it works perfectly fine for this. I just run the PSI around 50 PSI. Um, it depends, it varies sometimes, but uh, I have the adjustable part right there. I just adjust it to a 50 PSI output and it does really good. All right, we'll just put this on there like that and it's good to go. That's it for that. It's already coated, um, coated pretty thick. The farther back you stay, the more texture you get, so. Alright, so it doesn't look perfect. Um, I need a jigsaw off of this. That'd be a lot better because then I could actually curve it. We're gonna go ahead and put the air diffuser over the top and see what areas need trimmed. And we can always trim those up with the Dremel because I have grinder stones for the Dremel. I have to look perfect right now because that thing will go over the top and it'll clean it all up. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend using a sawzall to do this. This is just all I have right now. So I always work with what I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go get the diffuser real quick. Okay, so it still needs a little bit of trimming, but overall it should be pretty fine. I may have just went too high right here. So hopefully it doesn't look like crap. Okay, it looks pretty good actually. It just needs bolted on um, so we can actually see what spots need trimmed up, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that's looking really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt all the bolts in and uh, see exactly how it looks, but so far it doesn't look like anything needs trimmed up. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Well, there it is installed. So now I've got to uh, paint this section here that's gray. I'll scuff all that up and we'll shoot that with the orange. That way, when you see through those holes, it doesn't look all crappy. And I guess I could touch up all this down here where I didn't get because this bumper was on the car when I painted it. So I'll go ahead and do that.
right, so I painted that with the rustic orange rust-oleum. Um, it's not an exact match to this, but once it dries, it does look a little bit better. But I will be truck bed coating underneath all there, uh, just like we did on the outside. So I will be doing black underneath all the car, and then I will go over that with the exact same color here. I'll also be doing the underside of the trunk, truck bed coated, but I'll just be painting it with the spray can like I did there as a base coat. All right, so there it is, put back on. Looks pretty good. You can see through there, you can see the orange behind. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, if you're gonna do this um, and you're gonna daily the car, make sure to do some reinforcements around. Maybe make a aftermarket reinforced bash bar. That way, if someone does rear end you, you don't completely total your car. But um, I have plans to do that on this. So we'll have video of that whenever that time comes. But turned out pretty good. I got a spot right here that I just need to hit with the Dremel. Not a big deal, super easy to do. But the rest looks really good now. And that will allow the air to not get trapped underneath and pocket, which causes drag. Now, there's a lot of people that are probably wondering why would I have a wing on a front wheel drive car? There's a lot of information on the internet on how wings actually do provide downforce for the rear end of the car. Um, and they do need it. Uh, we've went over this with many people um, at high, high rates of speeds, 150 mile an hour to be exact, we tested this theory. No wing, and this was on its way to Corolla, our buddy Jesse had. And with no wing, it just skated around, the, the back end lifted up, and it just was wiggling. So when we put the wing on it um, afterwards, he went out at 150 mile an hour again, and it just stayed solid all the way through so wings do provide downforce and a function i like how this one looks personally this wouldn't be for performance for me uh, i just like how it looks because i'm a ricer like that it's all good i'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description where you can buy this um this one was off of ebay it came with all the nuts bolts all the hardware obviously i truck bed coated it black but you don't have to paint them if you don't want to um, really good quality they compare right up there with golden eagle um, this one was super cheap. I think this one was from Sick, Sick Speed. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cheap. So I'll put a link in the description for that as well. In progress, slowly but surely. Next is the Autism Awareness tag covers that I want to do. And then we've got to get the multicolor hoses throughout the engine bay. Um, but the very next video we're going to be doing is of this valve cover. I'm not keeping it this way. I think it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. This was just a temporary fix. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and wrinkle red powder coat this valve cover um, That garage is the YouTube name that's gonna be doing it So you'll definitely have to go and subscribe and check out his channel. He does powder coating DIY stuff um, He just started his channel up. So it's slowly but surely gonna take off So we're gonna red powder coat this valve cover in the next video So if you're new here definitely consider subscribing hit the bell so you get notified of every upload and uh, definitely stay tuned guys because we have way more coming to this build. So thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button and uh, stay tuned for more content because we got more coming. See you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe and God bless.